Tua's first NFL action, the Dolphins' first shutout in six years. Hello and welcome to Full Sail Live. I'm Josh Taylor here at Studio 3B at Full Sail University. After suffering a hip injury during his senior year at Alabama, quarterback Tua Tagovailoa made a remarkable recovery from that devastating injury that some people believe would have prevented him from playing high-level football ever again. Building, but it's still loud. Even Fitz is leading the ovation. After receiving a standing ovation from teammates and fans this past Sunday, Tagovailoa made his return to the football field for the first time in nearly a year as the Miami Dolphins blew up New York Jets 24-0. He went 2-for-2, two 3-for-9 two, two passing yards, and most importantly, showed his teammates what he can do on offense. Playing in a stadium, so I, I, I could hear that. Um, and, and that was awesome. But to, to just be out there with my teammates being my first time and getting the support and love from them, um, you know, I think I think that was that was super awesome. Let's share with you a brief recap on what two attack of below us had to overcome to reach this moment. On November 16, 2019, he suffered a hip injury against Mississippi State. On January 6, 2020, he declared for the 2020 NFL draft. On March 31st, he was medically cleared for competition. And on April 23rd, he was selected fifth overall by the Miami Dolphins. There was no preseason this year due to COVID-19, so we hadn't seen much of Tua until this past Sunday, where he finally made his debut for the Miami Dolphins. Tagovailoa was named the starting quarterback for the Dolphins' next game against the Rams on November 1st, and he will be the 22nd starting quarterback for the franchise since legend Dan Marino retired in 2000. Speaking of retirements, another legend, Mike Doc Emmerich, decides to leave the rink after being the voice for the National Hockey League. Went wide that time was Goodrow, and the Tampa Bay Lightning have won the Stanley Cup. Longtime NHL announcer Mike Doc Emmerich is retiring from being the voice of the National Hockey League after a stellar broadcasting career. Emmerich's resume includes 47 seasons call hockey, 45 game sevens, 22 Stanley Cup finals, 14 NHL All-Star games, and covering six Olympic games. And uh, for me, I knew, I think between the second and third rounds of the playoffs this year, and the, the round number of 50 and the round number of 40 doing games uh, made me think that this is a good time and this was the right time for that. After calling an estimated 3,750 hockey games, this is not the end for Emmerich, as he will continue to write and narrate video essays for NBC Sports NHL coverage. For Full Sail Live, I'm Josh Taylor.